GCSE chemists. Let's do a, um, oh, actually, no, I can't give it away yet. Let's just do a quick question. Let's do a quick question. I would like you to tell me what Z, like what this arrow represents. Feel free to pause the video, let me know in the comments, then come back. Okay. Now this is worth two marks and there's a reason for that because the first thing that many of you probably said, well, I hope that you said correctly is that Z represents the activation energy. Right, it's the energy that we're putting in before the reaction can actually take place. But just saying activation energy alone is not enough because we've actually got two sections of this um, profile diagram here that could represent the activation energy, right? We could have Z, but we could also have the distance from here up to here is also an activation energy. So what specific, what is specific about activation energy Z? Well, it's lower than the other one. So it stands to reason that this is the activation energy with a catalyst, because we know that the way that catalysts work is by providing an alternative um, reaction pathway with a lower activation energy. So by showing an activation energy that is lower, that is our activation energy when we are using a catalyst. Whereas this blue arrow would be the activation energy with no catalyst. Yay, nice and straightforward. Let me know if you got both of those parts um, of the question and um, make sure that you're following for more GCSE chemistry questions and tips and advice and all that good stuff. Okay.